Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to work on our vocabulary. Today is our vocabulary lesson number 75. Day number 75. Let's see what we have today. The very first word we want to learn today is enumerate. It's a word. What does it mean to enumerate? Well, enumerate means to, to make a list. To count off. Count off. To name one by one. Do you understand? To enumerate means to make a list. Any kind of list. It could be a grocery list, it could be a list of things to do, it could be uh, the, the stuff that you, the, uh, that, uh, that you want to bring with you someplace. It just means to make a list, enumerate them, and make a list. If someone tells you to enumerate them, make a list. Do you understand? To name, name one by one, to name one by one. Can you enumerate, can you enumerate who was present yesterday at the meeting? Can you tell me exactly who was present at the meeting yesterday? Can you enumerate them? Can you enumerate them? Can you name them one by one? Do you understand? That's all. Let's move on. It's a simple word, straightforward word, enumerate. What I'm trying to make you understand is that the word enumerate has nothing to do with numbering. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. People hear the word enumerate. Well, I, I shouldn't say it has nothing to do with numbering. Obviously, you're numbering them one, two, three, four, but that's not, it's not, nothing, it's not numbers in that sense. It means to make a list of things. Do you understand? To make a list of things. Let's learn a new word, a different word. And the word is adulterate. also a word adulterate. Now what does it mean? Adulterate means to make something, to make something impure, to make something impure, which is where the word which is where the word adultery comes from. The adultery is so-called when somebody commits an adultery, well their marriage is no longer pure. You have, you have made your marriage impure. You have committed an adultery. You have adulterated your marriage. You have made your marriage impure. You, broke the, you have broken the vow. Do you understand? Vow to be faithful to each other. You have committed adultery. Adultery doesn't mean what most people think, which uh, to have uh, 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 the meaning that most people think, which has to do which, which they think in a very narrow sense, as in having a sexual liaison with another person. That's the, that's the act of it, but literally what it means is you have made your marriage impure. You have adulterated it. You have made it impure. Do you understand? Here's an expression. For example, for example, you might say un, unadulterated. Have you heard of this, uh, such an expression? Unadulterated drivel? Uh, what Michael said to me was unadulterated drivel. We'll, uh, we'll learn the word drivel in a sense, uh, in, in a second, which means nonsense. So what does it mean when someone says that, uh, well, uh, did you speak with my Michael? Yes, I did speak with Michael. And what did you think of uh, what he had to say? Well, the guy is a moron. He, what he said to me was unadulterated drivel. What he said to me was, well, if adulterated, if adulterated means to make something impure, Listen carefully. If adulterated means to make something impure, unadulterated is the antonym of adulterated, which actually means pure. Unadulterated means pure. So it means pure nonsense. Unadulterated drivel means pure nonsense. 
It was pure nonsense. It was unadulterated drivel. Should we learn the word drivel? Let's learn it, shall we? It has two meanings. It has literal meaning and metaphorical meaning and I want to learn both of them. Let's learn the word. So remember, unadulterated means pure. Do you understand? What does it mean to drivel? Well, literally, literally, it means to drool, to slobber means saliva dripping down from the side of the mouth. The classic uh, imaginary that comes to mind when we mention a village idiot, a village idiot you usually picture him with the Saliva dripping down the side of his mouth, and, and uh, he's drooling. He's he's he's, he's uh, slobbering, and that is called drivel. That's the literal meaning. Metaphorically, it, metaphorically, it simply means to speak nonsense. To speak nonsense. To speak. Stupidly. Stupid is the noun, and if you put stupidly, is stupidly is the adverb to speak stupidly, to speak, to make no sense, to make no sense. I did not understand a word of that gibberish. I did not understand a word of that gibberish. not understand a word of that gibberish. It was an an unadulterated Drivel. It was an unadulterated drivel. Unadulterated drivel means pure nonsense. I did not understand a word of that gibberish. Gibberish actually means nonsense also. As you already know, gibberish is a very simple word for a native speaker, which simply means nonsense. It was gibberish. It was I did not understand a word of it. The guy wasn't making any sense. It was pure and unadulterated drivel. It was a pure nonsense. It was an unadulterated drivel. I didn't understand a word of it. That's it. The word is drivel. Let's move on then. And that's what gibberish means. Gibberish. Which is a noun, which means a nonsensical, a nonsensical talk. A nonsensical talk is a talk that's a nonsense. Nonsense is, is a noun. Nonsensical would be the adjective. Nonsensical talk, a talk that is nonsense. Let's learn one more word. Shall we? As a matter of fact, let's learn a few more words having to do with nonsense, gibberish, pure rubbish. Should we learn a few more words meaning pure rubbish, gibberish, nonsense? These are good words to know. If somebody is speaking nonsense to you, you can tell them all of these words. The next word is 
poppycock. Which also means nonsensical talk. They all mean the same thing. Poppycock is a gibberish, it's a nonsense. It's nonsensical talk. It's just utter rubbish. It's this utter rubbish. It's a pure, unadulterated drivel is what a poppycock is. Let's learn one more word, shall we? Before. What's a piffle? Piffle again is a foolish, foolish talk or an idea. Foolish talk or an idea. It's a noun. Piffle is a noun. It's a nonsense. They're all nouns. Poppycock is a noun. Gibberish is a noun. Dribble was a noun. Dribble could be noun or a verb. Do you understand? Piffle. Should we learn one more? Let's learn one more, shall we? I don't know why I keep asking you should we learn one more. I hardly expect you to say scream out no to me. It's a, it's a, it's a habit, you understand? Let's learn one more. I need room. I'm going to erase this sentence on the top. The next word we want to learn is Kakamemi. Have you heard of Kakamemi? What is Kakamemi? Shall we learn it? It is also spelled C O C K C O C K A M A M Y as opposed to I E Kakamemi. Ka O me, me. It's an adjective. It's an adjective. What's kakamemi? Well, kakam. Yes, by the way, this is a slang. This is this is this is this is not a real word. It's a slang. It's more of a colloquial term. Kakamemi. I need the room, obviously. Kakamemi is something that is silly, something that is something that is ludicrous, something that is nonsensical. Something that is nonsensical. You can describe somebody's idea as a kakamemi. That is that is a kakamemi idea. That's a kakamemi theory. Your plan. He told me that my plan, he found it to be kakamemi, kakamemi plan. Well, why did not, well, what did he tell you? Why, did, what did he tell you? Why did he not come to work? Did he ask you, did you ask, did you ask him that? Did you ask Michael why he did not come to work yesterday? Yes, I did ask him why he did not come to work yesterday. And he gave me some kakamemi excuse. He gave me some kakamemi excuse, meaning that the excuse that he gave me was silly, was nonsense. It was a ludicrous excuse. That's it. He told me that he on his work. He told me that uh, on his way to work, he was abducted by a bunch of aliens. Do you understand? And by a bunch of aliens, I don't mean Mexicans. Do you understand? Uh, it's a kakamemi excuse. Let's go on then. Let's learn one more word. Let's learn one more word. Actually, there is one word that I want to do before I forget it. We need the room here. Let's do it here. Let's learn this word. This is a, this is a tricky word. Yeah, this is, this also means nonsense or rubbish. But here, but here, listen very carefully. As opposed to gibberish and kakamemi and uh, piffle and poppycock and drivel, which all have the connotation of stupidity. You're speaking nonsense out of stupidity. But here, a humbug is where one is speaking something that is nonsense, something that is rubbish, but with the intention to, but with an intention to deceive. 
to fraud, to commit a fraud. So here the person is not speaking nonsense because the person is stupid. The person is not speaking something nonsensical because he doesn't know any better. He's doing it by design. He's doing it on purpose. He's speaking something nonsense, something nonsensical, something silly, something rubbish, hoping that he will, he will, he will be able to trick you, that he'll be able to deceive you. But of course, because of the fact that you were able to tell that it's a Hamburg, which means he did not succeed. Do you understand? If you can figure out that what he's speaking is nonsense, then he did not succeed. It's a Hamburg. Let's learn one more word. We need the room. The word is... Gobbledygook. It's also spelled G-O-B-B-L-E-L-E-G-O-B-B-L-E-D-Y. -B -B -E 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 you can spell it with D-Y or D-E. They're both correct spelling. Gobbledygook. Making up these words is a real word, you understand? You will find it in the dictionary. What's the gobbledygook? Now, gobbledygook is nonsensical thing. It's not really a nonsense. Gobbledygook is, a, listen carefully, gobbledygook is not nonsense. Listen very carefully. Gobbledygook means something that you have trouble understanding. But not because it's a nonsense. Gobbledygook is described as something that you have trouble understanding. Something that one may have trouble understanding but not but not but not because it is nonsense is nonsense one word or two? Is nonsense hyphenated? I don't know. Not because it's nonsense, but because it is because it is full of it is full of jargon. What does jargon mean? Jargon is something that we learn on day number 34 and if you have not watched day number 34 then you have to watch it obviously because I'm not going to repeat everything jargon is something that is full of technical terms jargon is something it's jargon is a special language that that that, uh, that develops within a discipline so if that if if, to, if 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 you if, if let's say I'm, I'm 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 a car mechanic and I go to my doctor's office and, and and my doctor is talking to another doctor in the hospital and they're discussing what is wrong with me I'm, I'm, the I'm a car auto mechanic. I go to the hospital because something is wrong with me. And these two doctors are discussing uh, among themselves, be between themselves rather, uh, as to what is wrong with me. Do you think I'm going to understand what they're talking about? Most probably not, because they're using the language of the language that doctors use. They're using their jargons. I don't understand the medical jargon. The next day, the very next morning, my doctor finds out that there is something wrong with his car. And he brings his car... To my garage to have it fixed and this morning the doctor is in my office uh, the doctor is in my garage and I'm talking to my colleagues in my garage as to what is wrong with the doctor's office uh, doctor's car I'm talking to my my colleague as to what is wrong with the doctor's car do you think the doctor is going to understand the language that I speak with my colleague in the garage of course not we're using our jargon we are using our our language of our profession to him it's going to sound like a gobbledygook Yesterday, what the two doctors were talking to each other sounded to me like gobbledygook. I didn't understand a word of it. Do you understand? Let's do one more. One last one before we, before we call it a day. And the word is... Lather or 
leather. I shouldn't have put them separately here because we need the room. I'm going to erase all of this thing. Or perhaps you can put it here. And the word, what does it mean? What does it mean to blither or to blather? What does it mean to blither or to blather? It means to talk, to talk nonsensically. To talk nonsensically. I don't think that nonsensically is spelled correctly. To talk. talk to talk stupidly to blither or to blather as a word means to talk stupidly to speak nonsensically as a noun it just means absurd or foolish talk an absurd an absurd or Polish talk. It just means nonsense. And the expression that we typically hear is, where can I put that expression? Well, I think you should talk to, if you're having trouble with this problem, why don't you go talk to Michael? He might help you. Why don't you, do, why don't you go talk to Michael? He might help you. Are you kidding me? Go talk to Michael? Michael is a blithering idiot. Michael is a blithering idiot. Blithering idiot is, is a bit redundant, but that's what he means. Blither means to speak nonsense. To describe somebody as a blithering idiot means he speaks nonsense. All you get out of him is drivel. All you get out of him is unadulterated drivel. What's the point of talking to him? Do you understand? Well, on the note of the blithering areas is where we're going to leave today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.